What's up guys, EB with Macintosh Tips. Today I've got a great tutorial over iMovie 2011. If you don't know what iMovie is, it's a very simple way to take your home video clips or professional video clips, full in HD, edit them right here in uh, iMovie with a flick of a wrist, add some videos and titles, as well as some, uh, some nice transitions and music, and you've got a nice video to upload straight to YouTube. All right, so let's go over iMovie 2011 and the new features they offer here. The first thing I wanna go over is the themes and the trailers that they offer in the new iMovie. This is probably one of the coolest things that they've upgraded to iMovie. So if we go up here, I hit new project. You can see I have a drop down menu. Of course, the first uh, few iMovies, they only had six uh, project themes. They've added two more news and sports. So if you click on one of them, you can see here on the right side, you get a nice preview. And of course, um, on the, on the uh, bottom of it, you can see it says automatically add transitions and titles. Basically means it's going to take your transition titles that you add to it and make them um, sync with your with your video, so it makes it look complete in the same theme. If you don't want it consistent, just uncheck that box. And of course, you can add whatever transitions and titles they offer here in the iLife suite. So as you can see there, they have the newsroom as well, have a little more professional feel whenever you're doing your videos. On the bottom here, they have the movie tra movie trailers, which is also a very cool feature. Okay, so they have some for action, romance, new blockbuster, and also holiday holiday themes. You can go check these out. All of them are at the um, on the apple.com slash iMovie. So you can just uh, follow that link below, the one that says iMovie. And, of course, you can watch each trailer they've developed there at Apple. I'm just going to show you how I can make a quick, tra tra quick trailer in just a few seconds. Sorry about that. So if I hit action and hit create, it's going to open a new folder up here. You're going to have outline, storyboard, and then, of course, your shot list. Basically, kind of like a clipboard or like a file folder look. Um, down here, you can see you can basically come in here and edit this. Uh, simple and easy. And, of course, it'll add it straight to your uh, title as soon as it uploads. So, you can see it's already changed. Um, so, you get your outline. you get your credit studio cast and the date and name of it. The storyboard is probably one of the easiest uh, parts of it. Um, and all you do is basically take your action clips and... Uh, See, we had a uh, snow day the other day. So I'm gonna take some clips from the snow day, and as you see here, you got an action clip, and you can pan through it. Um, also, you got one for a up close face shot, a running shot, and some other things. So you can either follow that, which they kind of reference it'll look best, or you can use your own video clips. So all I'm gonna do is basically uh, just go through my uh, video clips and then add some stuff. So you can see here, I just highlight over yellow. As soon as I let go, it goes right over. I don't only have to drag it or drop I just highlight alright and you see there it's gonna show orange indicating I'm using that piece of the clip you can always edit it in the uh, shot list whichever uh, few seconds that you want within that shot or ex of course extend the, the uh, audio uh, enhance the audio and extend the clip time so let's go through here and highlight some clips and I'm not really gonna match them to what they are telling me to match uh, but I'm gonna make it as simple and easy as possible. So, drag and drop, and as you see there, simple and easy, I've got a nice trailer being developed in seconds. So, I've got my action shots there, I've got my trailer info already put in under the outline, I'm gonna hit watch trailer, let's check this out. So you can see there, as just throwing some random clips together, it still looks amazing and it's thrown together right. And of course, uh, you guys can put more time and effort into it uh, outside of the tutorial and make yours so much more professional and upload it right there to YouTube. On the shot list, you can see there you can enhance your video clips, add some more time to them, adjust the audio, blah, 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 blah. You guys check that out. Very simple and easy right there to do in your in iMovie. All right. The second feature I want to go over is the side-to-side -side shot and also um, the new blue screen effect 
um, that they offer here. Now the previous iMovies, they allowed you to do green screen and we have a tutorial for that. I'll leave the green screen tutorial link down below. It's probably one of our most popular videos. And if you see here, if I go and find a video or I either a video or, oh wait, that's the wrong clip. Um, okay, got a little PC joke there. So if you find a clip or a picture that has blue in it, you can basically take this picture of this guy doing an action shot, take the clip, drag it over, drop, and of course blue screen and green screen. Just hit blue screen since it is a blue screen clip. It'll chroma key it in just a few seconds. And as you see there, I can pan through and I've got a nice shot of this guy. Like I said before, you can do video and, and just still shots. It works for both and it works amazing. So as you see that I can stretch this clip as far as I want it. I can even do it over two shots and it works perfectly. So easy, simple, that's the way to go in iMovie. All right, the next thing is the side to side shot. So if you take that same picture, drag it, drop, I hit side by side. I'm gonna have this guy jump in halfway through the, through the uh, intro and then jump back out. Now, you can also adjust the chroma key of this clip on the left. If I would like to adjust the transition, you just double click on the, uh, tra the uh, clip up top, transition to the, the left or the right, and then manually adjust the trans transition uh, to a higher level. Hit done. Let's play through it. So as you see that it pans over, pans back up. Pretty simple, easy, right there in iMovie. Let's delete that clip. And I'm going to show you the step-by-step, -step, the one-shot timeline you guys missed and that they had in iMovie HD. They now threw it back here um, in iMovie 2011, just in case you wanted to, to use that as well. So on the top right here, you can see as a three-squared box, and it says show project clips as single or multiple rows. If you click that, it's going to burn your stuff into the to that single shot row that you guys like um, in the 2000, the 2000, I guess it was 2007 or the I'm, whatever this iMovie HD was. Um, so there it is, simple and easy. They, they listened to y'all's request. It took a few years to uh, <laughs> to finally do it, and it's here in iMovie 2011. Anyways, guys, this is EB Macintosh Tips. This has been the iMovie 2011 review and a preview of the um, new features that offered here in the new suite. Check out the iPhoto one that what we did. Just click that link right there. And of course you can do a run through of that. Very cool features in the iPhoto 2011. Check out our new apparel shop. It's run by Spreadshirt. They do a great job getting stuff printed up there. You can see our apparel right there. Great, great stuff. We've got the holidays coming up, especially Valentine's Day. So if you'd like to get something for your sweetheart, we are running promo codes. I'll leave the promo code in the description below. Copy, paste that promo code when you check out and save at least 15% on your order. So, this has been EB Macintosh Tips. Go check out the apparel shop. Check out the iMovie HD, uh, sorry, the iPhoto 2011 uh, tutorial and overview. Scooter's got a great, great vlog coming up on Monday. You guys stay tuned for that. You guys have a great holiday. Holiday? I mean weekend. Peace. Just a quick reminder, if you'd like to check out our Macintosh Tips apparel shop, you can click the link to the left. Click that, it'll shoot right over to our apparel shop. And of course, if you missed our video that we did last week over the iPhoto 2011 overview, click the image to the right, it'll shoot right over there. You guys have a good one. See you.